I've had so many great memories, but the best, I think, with Brittany was stalking Caleb. <laughs> Every once in a while, we would drive by Caribou to see if Caleb's old truck was there. If it was, we'd make sure Brittany was looking beautiful and go in. You right there in that gray and blue dress, smiling at me through your wine glass. I finally feel as if I Of course, I would let Brittany and Caleb flirt with each other for a while, and I could tell by the way they're looking at each other that they were in love. Like a yellow flower through a sorrow cry. Yeah, your kiss is a little something like that, oh, you're the reason I ain't ever looking back, mm -hmm. 21 years and 123 days, I think, that we had with Brittany uh, up until today, and that time has flown by. It seems like just yesterday we were changing diapers, and just Sunday night, she was sitting on the couch telling us how her and Caleb were practicing on the deck their first kiss. <laughs> I didn't really need to hear that, but... Oh my goodness, We'd be remiss not to acknowledge God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as the most honored guest here today. It is His presence that will make this day truly significant. It is his listening that makes these vows so solemn. Father, we just, Lisa and I, thank you so much for the opportunity you gave us to raise Brittany in our household. One of the first interactions that I had with you two as a couple you guys don't waste much time to get right to the deep questions. How do we know if we should get married? How do we know if we should get married? And I gave you the answer that you knew I was going to give you. The way you know is if the two of you are better together for the kingdom of God than you are single. She just loved this guy. She could not say enough good about him. And she came home one day and she said, Dad, this is my future husband. They uh, got together for a little while and they parted ways and Brittany was absolutely devastated. watched the whole thing unfold. You came to my office many times. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Lisa and I didn't really think it was over, and we just had this feeling that God was going to be faithful and uh, that Caleb was probably going to be the guy. And you guys have this gift and this ability to see beauty where other people don't see. And then you capture it either in a photograph, a video, or a song in a way that helps us to understand who God is in your interaction with each other, that same awe and wonder that you look at the world with. I've seen you look at each other that same way. Caleb, you need to understand that I had a hard time keeping uh, number one man status in, uh, in Brittany's life. I had this man that I had to contend with and his name was Grandpa Dick. There's one thing about Grandpa Dick, and uh, he loved his grandchildren, and he, uh, he had a nickname for, uh, for every one of the grandchildren. Yeah. Brittany's was uh, Sweetie Pie. During the conversations I had with, uh, with Grandpa Dick, it was his hope that he could make it to uh, all of the weddings of his grandchildren. You know, he told me that if he could make it to uh, at least Brittany's wedding, he would be very happy with that. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but in the, in the end months, uh, Brittany had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with Grandpa Dick. And uh, during that time, she uh, took the opportunity to use her camera and videotape Grandpa Dick as he was sitting at the table uh, cutting his pills with a, uh, with a hammer and a 12-inch knife on the kitchen table with no cutting board. For all the time that I spent with Grandpa Dick and uh, the stories that he shared with me, I think I can speak on his behalf and say, Sweetie Pie, I'm proud of you. 
congratulations and take good care of that man. Brittany is a little girl, um, I don't know, what, four or five, six years old. She would clap her hands and she'd say, tell me I did good, Daddy. Tell me I good, did good. Brittany, you taught yourself the ins and outs of photography, and you followed and you sought God's will for your life, and I see that in you too when you do your weddings and your photo shoots. Today, in bringing you together, God is making a beautiful thing for his kingdom. Jesus said to us, now that I've washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet as a symbol of your commitment to serve one another. And that's going to be a beautiful thing. He's always going to watch out for you and protect you and take care of you as he's done for me all these years. I, Caleb Grundison, take you, Brittany Eichens, to be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy plan. And with God's gracious help. As a constant reminder of my abiding love and commitment. Of my abiding love and commitment. Brittany, I'm here to say you done good. Don't you worry, I'll get you a boyfriend. You'll get you one. A husband. I don't know what you want one of them butters for. Thanks, Grandpa. Hee <laughs> <laughs>